Hi guys, we are going to do a what's in my camera bag for 2021. It's actually been a whole year since I did my last one. Not a lot went on since the last one, but a few changes, a few minor changes. But one big change is I got a new camera bag. Now I still have my old bag and that carries a lot of my um, other older cameras that I use for YouTube videos and challenges and such, but I wanted to order a little bit smaller, not as heavy camera bag to carry the two main cameras that I shoot with. And I actually got this off Amazon. Um, it's a teal color. I was trying to read the name of it and I can't exactly read it, but I will put it in the description below and the link to where I got it. It's very, very nice construction. Has a lot of pockets, seems very durable. And for me, it has fit everything I need for my main two cameras, um, my light triggers, anything I need to take with me to go on a photo shoot that might require me to use my strobe or just use natural light, it's all in this bag. So, what's in my camera bag well last year on my last video you guys know that i bought and went back to nikon with the nikon d780 and i still have that and i'm probably gonna have that for the next 10 years because that camera is the bomb it's the best camera i've ever owned the most expensive camera i've ever owned but it's also the best so if you open up this main bottom compartment it has these, it has two little clips. Let's see if you can see those here. You unbutton those and then unzip it and you have room in here for, this is my main camera, so my main camera body with a lens attached. I always have the 85 on it usually because it's my go-to lens for everything in general. And then when I want to swap out, I have my other choices, which I still have the 28, 2.8 for my fashion work. And I have my most beloved prized macro 105 macro lens that I use for closer, tighter headshots. And then my all around 85, 1.8 for everything. And then Nikon D780. And in this main back compartment, all three of these fit. So you can fit your camera body and three lenses in this end compartment. And it fits really nicely. And then this camera strap just securely goes around the camera, giving it extra protection. And then in the top zipper up here is where I carry the connectors for my uh, pocket wizard. There's two of them there. because I'll need those when I use my strobe. So those go securely in that top pocket. Find the zipper again, I'll shut it. Oh, I thought I went to that side. I did, it's just all the way back there. All right, so then you close this again. I'm gonna zip up the main compartment. And clip the two little clips that keep everything secure. So that's that compartment, but then on top of that compartment is this little zipper bag. This works perfect to toss in two of my pocket wizards. When it's just me, I only need two. I only have the one light with me. So I use one of those connectors and I plug it into one of them and plug it into my strobe and then the other one goes on my camera and it works for both of the cameras I have in this bag. So this little pocket, they just securely go inside there. So I know that I can always use my strobe. Now the strobe that I use, I have the light stands and everything in the car, but is the New Era Vision 4 lithium strobe. Um, I carry with me two of the lithium battery packs at all times 
And then I also, put that back in there. There we go. I also carry an extra um, tube light and everything in case it uh, ever goes out, which it hasn't, and I've had it for two years. Simple, turns on. Connect all your pocket wizards and you're good to go. Just started thinking of where I had the charger for that, but that is in another bag. So, I keep that with me with the two batteries and the pocket wizards in there. There's a little pocket here. And in that little pocket, I keep the charging cord for the other camera that I have. and the brick for that, so that goes in there. Now the charger for my Nikon is in this back pocket here. Okay, I told you there's tons and tons of pockets, but everything fits. So the charger for the Nikon D780 with the spare battery tucks into this zipper pocket in the back. And then I always, on this side, there's a little pouch that you could either carry a drink or whatever, but I always carry a spare pack of batteries for my triggers for the pocket wizard. So all of that fits there, which leaves us to the little compartment. Oh, there's actually a little zipper pocket here too. But this front part, you can see here, is right there. And it just has a little zipper pocket as well. Open that, and this is my nice uh, push pins for backgrounds in case you need it. Um, my new little addition for travel photography, and I'm actually testing it out on portraits as well. It's been really fun, and it, it's my new baby. It's my new little baby. The Nikon is always going to be the big baby. But it's a Fuji X-A5, and I just got a 35 f2 prime lens to go on it, which I'm putting through the paces, and I've only done a photo shoot outdoors with it once before I got this prime so that's going to be a video coming up with just the kit lens but I also just set it up to shoot studio so I'm going to test that with it on Sunday but that's my nice little pocket mirrorless camera and goes right in the front right in there and then that little zipper pocket up here I was telling you about is that's the one that had the Fuji cord so that's that's all in there I think I think that is everything that was in here this is my go-to camera bag now so any shoot that I'm going to that's not just a fun shoot or a testing shoot I take this bag. Now the other bag, which is that old Canon bag in my video from a year ago, um, that camera bag still has a practically brand new, even though the camera model is old, Nikon D40X with a 35mm 1.8 lens and a newly acquired, new again, only 3000 clicks on the shutter even though it's an older model, Nikon D60 that I am going to be testing out as well in some future videos, but it only has 3,000 clicks on there, that shutter as well, so. All right, I think that is everything. I just kind of wanted to go over what is now in my camera bag, my go-to bag for 2021. All right, guys, bye.